That's F R A N K C H A P M A N. I'm the uh, field organizer for the Chicago Alliance for Race and Political Repression. I'm also the chairperson of our organizing committee to stop police crime. Uh, we call this press conference uh, in response to uh, Donald Trump. I'm not going to call him president. Uh, saying that he's going to send Fed to Chicago. Okay. Uh, there are a number of people who are going to speak out here as well as myself. Uh, and uh, they can, uh, uh, they're welcome. Anybody who wants to participate is welcome, but I want to particularly ask the Teachers Union, the, the uh, Coalition Housing, I mean the Chicago Housing Initiative, and the Arab American Action Network to speak. Uh, okay, good evening, everyone, again. Let me say it again. Uh, we don't need Donald Trump to send armed forces into Chicago to deal with crime. What we need is a democratic community, a democratic community control of the police through an all elected civilian police accountability council. The coinage in Chicago is at the hands of the police who have murdered and tortured hundreds of young black and Latino men and women in Chicago. At the same time, they have proven themselves unable to do anything to stop organized crime violence. How can the community trust the police when many have seen that police are often a part of the problem? Shaking down and shielding criminals and allowing the steady flow of guns and drugs into our neighborhoods. Here in Chicago, given the long and bitter history of racist and political repression, we know what we need, and we know what we want. We don't need more police. We need community control of the police. So we can get to organizing for the things we want, like jobs, housing, education, and health care. Trump is talking about sending troops into communities that have been gutted out long ago by the kind of vulture capitalism he and his cronies Represent Police crimes and internal community violence is highest in those areas that are predominantly black, brown, and poor, and impoverished. These are, as we speak, victimized by the violence of poverty, the chemical warfare of drugs, and mass incarceration. The feds being sent in will not save one job or create employment or homes for the homeless, or health care for the mentally challenged and the desperately sick. Occupying our communities with more police and troops is a solution for those who want to keep us oppressed. Our solution, the democratic solution, the people's solution, is an all-elected civilian police accountability council, CPAC. 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 CPAC is an, is an ordinance currently pending in the city council. This is the people's answer to Trump. Community control of the police. And let me just say this here before I uh, invite others up to speak. Uh, recently, members of the city council made a statement uh, saying that they uh, were opposed to Trump militarizing the police. Probably the mayor's going to come out and say something, but they're not going to say they support CPAC because they're not for the solution either. You know, so we're not going to be tricked by the shadow boxing between Ron Emanuel and Trump. We know that they're both on the same side as barricades. So when we say we want community control of the police, that means. We're fighting Mayor Rahm Emanuel locally, and we're fighting Trump nationally and globally. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael Bronson. I am one of the officers of the Chicago Teachers Union. My, my last name, B-R-U-N-S-O-N, Bronson, okay? Um, I just want to say this because this is, this is something that's really dear to my heart. How do we address the violence in the, in the city of Chicago? 
And I would say to address the violence in Chicago, we don't just focus on the symptoms. That's not going to do it. Deal with the root. Deal with the causes and neutralize the germ that causes this disease. Poverty is violence. The lack of public and human services is violence. Underfunded, under-resourced, and overcrowded classrooms is violence. And that violence begets aggravated, escalated physical violence. It is more effective to put social workers, nurses, counselors, restorative justice coordinators, and yes, more educators in the schools than to place even one policeman with a firearm. Right. Right. Even Chicago Public Schools has learned the wisdom of moving from a zero tolerance disciplinary pro uh, program to a restorative justice program that seeks not to punish, but to restore harm. What we need is a humane and democratic system to deal with the problems in our city. It is more effective to have an enfranchised, educated, engaged, and employed community than to have stop and frisk, no knock, electronic surveillance, and excessive police force. And just like we have the, we instituted the local school councils in the Chicago public schools, they got the parents and the communities and the teachers more engaged in the governance of our schools. We need a democratic body, a democratically elected and engaged body to have a humane city, a social, a civic city where we can all live together. Thank you for your time. See back. See back. Good evening, everyone. My name is Reverend Catherine Brown, C A T H E R I N E, and I am a survivor of police brutality. And saying that, I want to do a few checks before I start. It always help me to get the people to get their energy up to let the mayor of Chicago know that we mean business. When I say CPAC, you say now, CPAC, no. CPAC. No. When I say CPAC, you say now, CPAC, no. CPAC. No. When I say CPAC, you say now, CPAC, no. CPAC. No. What do we want? CPAC. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? CPAC. When do we want it? Now. My suggestion to the mayor is to hold police accountable. This is simple. It's not hard at all. We need accountability. And we need justice now. Now that the DOJ have confirmed to you what we've been already telling you for the last, we, I don't even know how many years, for the last 40 years or more, it is time for accountability. No one cares about bringing more officers in because the ones that we're paying now is not doing their jobs. That's right. So what's important is that we have accountability. Accountability when police are doing things with reckless conduct and trying to send people like myself who was a liaison between the police and the community to bring unity is lied on and try to sit to jail for 30 years for made up stories on not only me but little children, my children, a one year old and an eight year old, we need accountability. Yeah, right. We're coming for what we call PP4P, prosecute police for perjury. Right. Anytime an officer get on the stand and raise their right hand and make up a story and lie on a citizen, the citizen that is paying them their paycheck, That's right. how dare we allow them to not be accountable for their actions. Not only make up stories, but they kill people. That's right. And we are no longer going to tolerate that foolishness. So if the mayor 
and every leader that is in position means business about making Chicago a greater or a better Chicago, it's time to stand up and be accountable stand up. for. It's over. We're no longer taking this. We're no longer going to sit back and keep saying what we want. We're demanding now that things make a change. We no longer are going to tolerate dealing with our young people laying in the street. We're not stupid. We know these not just the young men shooting each other. Come on. Okay. This is bigger than the young men shooting each other. Y'all better open up your eyes. There's some KKKs behind them blue, blue uniforms, okay? Right. Let's just keep it 100 while we're talking. Yeah. And I'm going to close in saying this. Because I was, God allowed me to live. He allowed me to be a survivor. So I feel at this point I'm a voice for every person that not, did not make it. That's They're right. not alive. Because I had a gun pointing at the back of my head. I had a lunatic officer who made up stories, her and her uh, partner. So I'm going to close with saying this. We as the citizens of Chicago, we want justice, justice. and then we want it now. Now. So when I say justice, you say now, justice, now. justice. Now. When I say justice, you say now, justice, now. justice. Now. When I say CPAC, you say now, CPAC, now. CPAC. Now. What do we want? CPAC. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? CPAC. When do we want it? Now. And I'm going to pass the microphone to the next speaker. All right.